Hi there, my name is Katherine Feely and I'd like to welcome you. In this video, we are going to show you how to create and verify a Coinbase account. For most, it can be somewhat of a daunting experience, but no worries, we will walk you through the steps. Why Coinbase? Well, Coinbase is the world's largest Bitcoin broker and also offers an exchange, wallet, and developer API. Customers can buy Bitcoin with a connected bank account, credit debit card, which is very popular, SEPA transfer, interact online, and many more payment methods. We chose Coinbase because of its ease of use. You can use it via the dedicated mobile app or through your browser. Currently, it allows you to buy four different cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And the requirements to create a Coinbase account is fairly standard for the industry. So it will help you in opening other wallets or exchanges in the future, as most have similar processes. Preparation is key. You've just made the decision to take part in the digital currency market and purchase yourself some tokens, but it does look a bit tricky and you're not sure what to do. A useful thing to do now is to get prepared. Have your mobile cell phone ready. Find your photo ID, passport, ID card, or driver's license as you will need it in order to verify your account. And a recent utility bill or a bank statement that's no more than three months old. Registering an account is simple. Just go to the Coinbase homepage, which is at www.coinbase.com. Then go to the right hand side and click on sign up. The first thing you're going to do is select what type of account you want, individual or personal, or a business one. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're using an individual account. You're going to put in your first name, your last name, and a workable email address. You're also going to choose a unique, strong password. And one of the things we strongly advise is that you make sure you copy and store your email address and password in a safe place for future reference. You're going to click here to say I'm not a robot and you're going to click here to say I certify that I am 18 years of age or older and I agree to the user agreement and privacy policy. If you want to check those two links out, just click here. Once you've filled out the details, you're going to create your account by clicking this blue button. Now that your account is created, you will be directed to a confirmation page indicating that a verification link has been sent to the email you used when creating your account. Navigate to that email address and look for the Coinbase email. Click on Verify My Email Address. Just a little note here, if you can't find the email from Coinbase, check your junk folder to see if it came there. Once you've verified your email, you'll be taken to this page, which will say your email has now been verified. Thank you. You should see your name here. And what's next is you'll need to provide a working cell mobile phone number. This is required for logins, your two-step verification and transactions. You're going to choose your country code, and in this case it's the United States, and then you're going to enter in here your 10-digit cell mobile phone number. Once you've done that, you're going to click Next. You're going to be taken to this confirmation page with a message that says we just sent you an SMS to the number you just created with a verification code. Once you receive that seven digit verification code on your cell phone number, you're going to enter it into this space here. When you've done that, you're going to click on verify phone number. You've been successful now. It shows that you confirmed your email address and you've added your phone number. The next step we're going to have is to verify your identity. So you're going to click here. In order to complete this section, you will need to submit a form of identification. This can be your passport, driver's license, or a photo ID, depending on your location. For U.S. customers, only U.S. state-issued IDs, such as a driver's license or identification cards, are accepted. Coinbase is unable to accept U.S. passports. For customers outside of the U.S., Coinbase is unable to accept scanned or otherwise saved image files. If you do not have a webcam on your computer, in most instances, a mobile app or mobile camera option can be used to complete this step. In this example, we're going to use the driver's license. We're going to click here. Once we've done that, we're going to need to choose an upload method. We have two options. We have a webcam or a mobile camera option. In this case, we're going to choose the mobile camera option. We find that we have the most success using this method. Coinbase will send you an SMS with a link from where you can take and upload photos of your ID. The really important thing to note here, it says, 
Please do not leave the page until you are done uploading. Now it's time to go to your cell phone. Once you've clicked on the link, you're going to go here. Follow the instructions on your mobile phone and take a photo of the front and the back of your ID. After you have taken the photos, click complete verification to proceed. If your upload is completed without any problems, you should now see a screen saying upload successful. Return to your computer to complete verification. Now you've gone back to your computer and what you're going to see on your screen is we're verifying your ID. Be patient as the verification can take a couple of minutes. Once it's been done and it's been done successfully, you're going to receive this pop-up. After the verification is done, you're going to get a message, Identity Verified. Click the Continue button to proceed. Before we leave this section, we wanted to give you some quick tips for successful verifications when uploading your photo ID, whether it's a driver's license or a passport. You will need to upload an image of the front and the back of your photo ID. Ensure that it is fully in frame with full name, date of birth, and ID number clearly showing and what they mean by that is you're going to see a frame on your mobile phone. Make sure that your ID is fully in that frame. Hold your ID steady so the information is clearly visible. Ensure that your document is valid, not expired, without hole punches or other modifications. Ensure your document is in a well-lit area without a glare. Natural sunlight is the best. Photograph the entire document and avoid cutting off any corners or sides. And make sure the address on your photo ID matches the address you provide when creating your account. Use the Chrome browser to complete the verification. You may be asked to provide a selfie photo of your face. It may be required for account recovery if you lose your two-factor authentication device or additional security is required for an action you're trying to perform. Make sure the light is coming from in front of you, not behind you, such that your face is clearly visible without backlighting. Face the camera directly and include from your shoulders to the top of your head, similar to a passport or ID photo. Use a plain wall as a background, if possible. Do not wear sunglasses or hats. If you are wearing glasses in your ID photo, wear them in your selfie photo. If you are not wearing glasses in your ID photo, remove them from your selfie photo. Now, once you've completed uploading your documents, you will need to wait for Coinbase to check your submission. And as we showed you earlier, normally it just takes a few minutes, but in some cases you will have to wait longer. If for any reason the submission is declined, you may either try again or you can contact their support for, for their assistance. Once your identity has been verified, the next thing you'll need to do before you can buy some digital digital currency is to add some payment methods. We would like to invite you to join us for our next video where we will be covering payment methods, setting up a local currency wallet, and linking your bank account and depositing funds. I'd like to thank you for your time and look forward to meeting with you again for our next lesson. Have a great day.